Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so I'm just going to dive straight in with this one. So I know that I've done a similar video before, but I'm going to be showing you my Dermalogica skincare routine. I've got a few products down here, which I can't wait to show you. This time it's like way more specific for my skin that I want to achieve. So this time we've got products for acne prone skin. Because I suffer with breakouts, blemishes, congestion. I just found these products really work for my skin. I mean, it's not absolutely perfect, but it's much, much better. And I think my skin's personally hormonal, so the issues that I have, no skincare is gonna fix it. It has to be kind of within. Um, so that's something else that I've got to look into. But for the outside of my skin, this is helping really well. Okay, so clearly you can see that I've got some makeup on already. So I'm just gonna show you how I would take that off on a normal evening. But first of all, we need to get rid of this. This is annoying, it needs to go. This is not as easy as it looks. Hold on a sec, I am coming. Gosh, okay, that is on now. It's literally pulling every hair from my skull. There we go. Oh, this is cute. Okay, so to remove most of the makeup really quick, we're gonna use the pre-cleanse. So this was actually like an oil-based product, but it really helps to remove all makeup, long wearing, really stubborn makeup. So I just do about two pumps. I'm gonna rub it together like this. And we're just gonna pop that all over the face. Okay, so guys, I'm gonna let you into a secret. This is totally off topic. This foundation that I'm just removing now is actually Primark's. Primark's makeup. I'm trying to do a video for their makeup range. I know I'm like behind the times and that thing, but you know, it is what it is. And I, obviously I'm gonna talk about this way more when I actually do the video, but I'm actually really impressed with it. Like I cannot believe how well it's gone on. Okay, obviously I had to colour match myself, which I thought was going to be really hard, but the colour seemed good as well. I'm just like really shocked, but yeah, so that'll be coming soon. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't get all the products in one Primark. I'm going to have to go to a few, but no, it should be good. Like, I'm totally impressed so far. Okay, so, so now you've massaged that in really well. We're going to add some water on it. The water turns into like a milky substance. This sounds really gross, but it turns out like milky and then it completely washes off. You don't feel oily after, even though we've kind of got oil all over our face. But because it turns to a milk, it just dissolves it all. And you just rub the day away. Okay, here comes that skin I was talking about earlier. Hmm. See so what I mean when I said it's not perfect? We're getting there. It is much better. All right, you people with your perfect skin, honestly, you have no idea how lucky you are. And now we're also going to reveal my very pale face compared to my fake tanned body. That's cute. Okay, now I'm going to go with this special cleansing gel. And this was basically just a face wash, but it's soap free, which is crazy. And um, because soap can really irritate the skin, but it also removes all the impurities all the grossness that happened throughout the day and it doesn't disturb the skin's natural like moisture balance as well so it's not going to dry you out also balm mint and lavender in there as well so it's really soothing for the skin so i just dampened my face slightly and i'm just going to take a little like a 20p coin size i'm going to lather it in the hands first and we're just going to put that all over like so, now I'm going to use something super cute. This is um, one of these little face brushes things. This is actually the Clinique one. Um, I did look at the Clarisonic ones, but obviously they're way more pricey. And I didn't know if I'd like it, um, like this type of thing at all. I didn't know how my skin would feel with it. So I went for the Clinique one, which is slightly cheaper, but I do like it. Like. But massaging cleansers like this in, you feel so clean after, like honestly you feel like you've had a facial. So I like to just wet the little bristles slowly. 
And then I just do, and you press a little button and it like vibrates. And I just go over like so. It's also got a timer on it as well, so it stops when um, it feels like you've had enough brushing. It doesn't like, like obviously you don't want to overbrush. See, stops on its own. It's like, okay, girl, you're done. I'm just gonna take any residue off now. Make sure it's all gone. Gosh, I'm getting paler by the wipe. It's not good. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna move on to my favorite product. So good. It's the Daily Microfoliant. So this product is like, I don't know any other product like this. You basically, it's like an exfoliator, but obviously exfoliators you're only meant to do once or twice a week, depending on your skin. It's bad to over exfoliate, but this one, you can do it every day. Also, powder form, and then you add like a little drop of water and it turns to like, mm, I don't know what the mm, texture is. It's like, I mean, I'll show you anyway, but it's like kind of like a clay kind of texture. I'll have to show you, but so it basically, yeah, it unclogs um, any congestion, the pores, your pores are visibly minimized. Paste, that's the word I was looking for. It's, it goes to a paste, <laughs> not a clay. It goes to a paste. That was the word I was looking for. Okay, so I'm gonna show you now. I'm gonna put a bit of powder. Okay, that was maybe a bit much. Oh well. And then I just like to do little drops of water like this. I don't know if this is how you're meant to do it, but this is how I do it. And then I make the paste in my hand. Oh, okay, I think I did a bit too much water, but. And then it goes like this. Okay, so now you have to massage this into the skin for like one minute. So I'm just gonna get right in those like bits that are so gross. And all the pores are gotta go. But I can already feel it's so smooth. Okay, then you just wash it away. Okay, honestly, this tan situation is not even funny anymore. Hmm. <laughs> Isn't just a warm flannel so good on your skin? Oh, that feels so good. Okay. I'm done with that. Okay, so when I said that this one is slightly different to my other video, it's because it had these few products that I'm gonna show you now, which differs from the other one. Um, and this one is for, specifically for blemish prone skin. This is the clear start range. So this one here is the Breakout Clearing Booster. This one, um, you can either put directly on a blemish. Ugh, this one is totally killing my vibe. Like, honestly, I'm just gonna sit here like this. You can, yeah, you can use it specifically on a blemish or you can use like a light layer all over the face, depending. But it basically um, works with salicylic acid. But you know what? We're done with the water thing, so this is coming off. God, this thing has been a nightmare. Okay, so yes, so anywho, sorry about that. And I'm just gonna pop that directly on to the blemishes. And it doesn't like, it doesn't tingle at all. It doesn't hurt, at, like, I know I've had so much hurt, like on fire when you put this sort of stuff on there. I mean, it has that good feeling, you know, and you're like, oh yeah, it's working. It has that, which is good. Okay, and then we're just gonna finish up with a moisturizer. So I've got two here. So this one's pretty much your day one and your night one. I'm actually gonna go for the night one this time, but I'll quickly tell you about the day. Yeah, this was actually like, um, just like an SPF, like a sunscreen, but for the day, obviously essential. It's got your SPF 30 in there, but even if the days that you don't think are sunny, you're like, oh, this, I don't need SPF. You always get the UV rays coming through even on cloudy days which is super aging for the skin and just not good at all. This was oil free and mattifying so if you're like me and you think oh my god it's got oil in I'm gonna stay away because that's just gonna make everything so much worse and then you just didn't use SPF at all that was me before but now 
oil free and it's got SPF 30 so that was really good for the day but I'm gonna use this one here this one's called the sound sleep cocoon it's actually a night gel so again when I used to use night creams they're like meant to be much thicker than the day cream because you want that extra moisture at night but extra thick to me just screams breakout so I'm just like nope see ya so um, this one is actually a really lightweight gel and it basically turns your tired dull skin and it transforms it and you look much fresher brighter it also smells incredible like I can't even tell you the smell I mean I can but it basically smells like lavender but when you're going to bed that is so good like so calming so soothing and that's the effects that you feel on your face as well I think um what else have we got in there you've got your French lavender oil you've got your calming sandalwood and patchouli they're the ones that smells that's why it smells so good like but yeah so this is how you squeeze it I was actually when I first got it I was trying to open it like this and you actually just squeeze it like that so I'm just gonna take like one pump that's literally enough for me and then you just take it, warm it up in the finger slightly and it goes to a clear gel. And I actually like to press this one in rather than like rubbing because obviously we've just done all of those other steps and we don't want to irritate the skin by rubbing it. Oh, the smell is so good, I can't even tell you. Mm. Okay guys, it's my second Dermalogica skincare routine, the new and improved version. Honestly, these products I've just used now are really working for me. Um, like I said, I have got a long way to go, but my skin's nowhere near perfect just how I want it. But I think that it's personally something that I've got to do internally. So um, that's another another issue but so far so good and I can totally recommend all of these products I said these two are my favorite this is the microfoliant and the sound sleep cocoon this one just smells and feels so good that's why but this one I actually feel like you know it makes it so smooth it's so cool that you can use it every day but it's also a powder form which is really good for travel etc etc I just really love that product I hope you guys enjoyed this video and some of you found it useful. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, that would be amazing. You can keep up to date with me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon.